What do the light workers, star seeds, have to learn before coming here to Earth? Me, I keep hearing reference to light workers being prepared for their roles on Earth. I can tell you that my role started the day I was delivered. I was preparing before that time to do work on Earth, in other lives. I think this can be confusing to light workers because they think, okay, what am I supposed to do? And if I'm this wonderful being of the light, why do I keep getting stuck in these shitty circumstances here on Earth, we're all here to transmute negativity to positivity. In working on our shadow self, reducing the ego, learning to take the high road in our dealings with others, that is light work. One example thereof. And it starts at day one. Me, hello, my dear Ivo. Can you please tell us what kinds of things we as extraterrestrials do before coming to planet Earth to do our light work? How do we prepare? Ivo, certainly my love. One thing that all light workers do is they study humans on Earth. Especially the culture you choose to be born into and what the issues are in that culture, how that culture requires healing. Me, okay, so in my case, what did I watch because my parents were Dutch and then immigrated to Canada? I'm understanding that I'm healing that bloodline so I would have studied my family as well, wouldn't I have? Ivo, yes, you do. However being that you live in the now, this is most important. The now is certainly a representation of all past choices made by all but it is where most of your energy is focused. Yes, there is transmutation of the past in that you heal your DNA now and this projects back to heal the past as well. Me, wow. Time is not what we think it is. Ivo, smiling, and yes, you love your clocks so much. Me. I have a feeling the clocks are going to end up in antique museums and we won't be using them anymore. Ivo, there are many young people on your planet who cannot even tell time the way you do. Referring to only reading digital clocks, not old clock faces, it is changing, my dear. It is losing its value. You will begin, as you ascend, to live life by natural cycles, not what the clock dictates you do. You know much about it as your mother would not serve a meal until it was time to, whether you were hungry or not had little to do with when you ate. Me, tell me about it, my sister and I have talked about that for many years. Ivo, this is part of the reason you are overweight, because you do not hear your body's natural call to eat, it is called hunger. And satiation is something you are not connected with because of your mother's cajoling you to overeat. You now realize you have taste buds as the first line of defense against overeating. Once you do not desire the food anymore and lose your taste or your appetite for it, you are satiated. Do not eat past that point. Yes, your people eat for cultural reasons. We shake our heads at this. Yeah, I'm thinking very root chakra, isn't it? Survival behavior at the wedding celebration. The other thing I'm receiving in a download of intuition is that extraterrestrials don't have this habit of eating together so they don't eat by the clock, which they don't even have. They eat when they're hungry, according to their own cycles. And eating in front of someone else isn't considered rude. Eating is a survival function, not a social function so they don't have the inhibitions around eating that some of us on earth do. Me, so these are some of the things I wanted to study. I said, I'm going to go to Terra to become a dysfunctional eater. Ivo, smiling, no, this came about as a result of the control you were subjected to. Food is often substituted where expression of emotion is lacking. Me, yeah, like the joke, face your stuff, don't stuff your face. Ivo, hesitating, it gets the point across. For you, you chose to experience certain states of deprivation, rejection, lack of loving, an unnurturing environment, violence, depravity, derision, disapproval, abandonment, being subjected to narcissism, among others. Me. Too many thoughts to even come up with one comment other than, what the hell was I thinking? Ivo, and you are dealing with them well, my dear. You are strong. All light workers are. Me. 
I think the reason I'm questioning my life is because I have the social injunction of you must be happy, otherwise your life is not worth living. Well, that's not true at all. Ivo, you are powerful beings who come to earth to take on the worst it has to offer. To bring up the rear, to raise the bottom. To give the Terrans a hand up. So you took on the worst of it? This makes sense, does it not? Me, I suppose. Ivo, my dear, this lifetime is a gift to the universe. To all of creation. Me, can I ask for a refund? Laughing. Ivo, no you may not. Yes, many are cancelling their contracts. Things have changed and some leeway is now available to light workers. Me, I don't know anything else. Ivo, so you plug on. Me, yes, speaking of which, what other things do we study before we come here? Ivo, you study the lives of Terrans, as we discussed. You study what needs to occur to bring the vibration of the Earth up. You study major problem areas on your Earth and how they can be changed. Many study the sciences, health, and religion and spirituality, to bring about change in these genres. This is why you are born at certain times. The timelines are looked at and decisions are made as to how much energy is necessary and applied in what way and then you are born at a time to allow that contribution to be made. Me, are there ever any setbacks? That the light worker doesn't fulfill its role? Ivo, sometimes, yes. Yes, you feel my sadness. It is a drawback for all when one does not complete the curriculum they set out to accomplish. We are all one, my dear. Remember. What affects one, affects all. We all grieve this loss. Me, the universe is a pretty feely place isn't it? Ivo, yes, so we prefer to keep the vibration high so all can enjoy the love. Which is of course the reason for the light workers going to earth. That they may benefit from what we all experience on our planes of existence, the love, that is, ourselves. Me, okay what else? Ivo, your mind searches and searches my dear, you have a thirst for knowledge that is almost incomprehensible. Me, I live on earth, Ivo. Ivo, yes. There is the metaphysical. Bringing this to earth. Developing it on your planet. Many are involved in that. Changing your ecosystem, relating to animals, so so many things, the stars, astrology, and astronomy, the study of which will merge in future. Crystals and gems. Energy work, technology. All the things you see upon your world that your friends are practicing have been studied in advance in prior lives to be brought to the earth and its people to help write their course of life and to free them. Everything the light worker is involved in now has been studied on many planes, planets, and lifetimes, and this information is being made available on your planet through them. And more will be activated in future and channeled down to them from us. We love the harmony. This is a wonderful project with so many chefs stirring the soup, so many working in harmony to heal. This is a wonderful project of love at its highest, and the crux of it is the light workers. Me. I can feel your emotions, Ivo. You're making me high I think. Laughing. Ivo, my dear, you do not understand how we see it. You cannot. Your capacity is limited by your circumstances. Imagine a wonderfully performed Mozart orchestral piece that brings tears to the eyes of the beholder. That is what we see on your planet and around it? Me, I can get into that. Ivo. You and we are creating harmony from disharmony. Function from dysfunction. Love from hate. Peace from aggression. We can see how it ends. It does not end but we see that all will return to source, eventually. Your clocks will do many many ticks before this happens, but it has happened already. It is perspective. We have a higher one, you still hear the clock ticking. It is all wonderful. Me, oh yes, I was wondering how poor Ashtar is doing. Ivo, he is fine. He has had sleep, as he told you. 
he has the power to heal himself of the things he needed to do to make things right, he had to make decisions that he did not want to make but he did them. He is a fine example for you on earth, my dear. Me, are you hinting at anything, Ivo? Ivo, this is how change comes about. Making decisions you do not want to make. Getting out of your comfort zone. Me, got it? 